we have a request to review the compound problem for our final exam where we are asking the question how long is a flute if we're going to play a fourth below 440 hertz on a wintry day where the speed of sound can be taken to be 330 meters per second. Now you want to memorize the speed of sound as 340 meters per second for room temperature and pressure. And I will give you the speed of sound if it's at a different temperature than room temperature. So here I'm going to give to you that for freezing to use 330 meters per second. If I don't give you a speed, you always can use the 340 as your memorized default. This consists of four problems wrapped up into one, where the first problem is a memorization, and the other three are using formulas. So you really get your money's worth when you work out this problem. I like to call a problem like this that has three parts in terms of formulas as the A problem, or an A problem for the exam. Step one, what is a musical fourth below middle A, the 440 hertz? Well, you have to have memorized the frequency ratio for a fourth. Well, that's four to three. And that could be a question that you find on an exam. That would be a simpler question, one that requires you to have memorized an interval and its ratio. Now, when you have four to three, sometimes we use three to four. Depends if we're going to go down in pitch or go up in pitch. This is one where we're going down in pitch, so I want to use the three to four ratio. In other words, I want to multiply 440 by three fourths. So here's my first calculation, my first mathematical part where it's not so much a formula as feeling comfortable using ratios that when you want to go up by a fourth, musical fourth, you multiply by four thirds, the frequency. And if you want to go down by a musical fourth, you multiply your starting frequency with three fourths. So what's three fourths of 440 hertz? Well, I like to divide first to get a simpler number. Four goes into 44 11 times. The zero hangs around, so it's 110. And then I need to triple that. Three times 11 is 33. The zero hangs around, and I get 330 hertz. Now we move on to the next problem component, which is to find the wavelength since I'm going for the length of the pipe, and this is an open pipe, you need to memorize that a flute is an open pipe in case we don't make that connection for you in the given of the problem. The open pipe physics, the wavelength is 2L. But to get the length L, I need to get the wavelength, and I have the pitch and the speed of sound, so that jogs me to my memory to go to the wave formula the velocity is the wavelength times the frequency. So the velocity here for the speed of sound on a wintry day is 330 meters per second. The wavelength is what I'm solving for. And the frequency, which is a fourth below the middle A on the musical scale, is 330 hertz. So what number times 330 is equal to 330? Well, the answer is 1. The wavelength is equal to 1 meter. And then for the open pipe physics formula, the wavelength of the fundamental is 2L. So if 1, the wavelength, is 2L, that means L has to be smaller. Be careful there. Make sure you divide by 2 here rather than multiply by 2. So the wavelength divided by 2 is 1 half meter, which is 50 centimeters. Can you carry this? Yes, I can carry that pipe. This is very, very, very good. Uh, we can have marching bands. And if you look at the problem rephrased for a closed pipe, you would simply have a 4L at the end instead of a 2L. Everything else would be the same. So you would divide by 4 instead of by 2, which will give you one half of the 50, which is 25 centimeters. And notice that when you put your hand on the end of a pipe, you cap a pipe, you drop down an octave. So what we're saying here is that if you have a closed pipe, it can be smaller, say, it can be smaller compared to the open pipe to get the same result.